Welcome to the Weekly Bat. Blog. Why Marketers Must Conduct GDPR Data Protection Impact Assessments of RTB. Read Johnny Ryan's note examining the GDPR requirement that marketers conduct data protection impact assessments, or DPIAs, when buying digital media using real-time bidding advertising. Event Today Brave CEO Brendan Eich to participate in a fireside chat, A Brave New Advertising World, at World Blockchain Forum in NYC, alongside TAP Network CEO Lynn Dye. Moderated by John Biggs of Coindesk. Community! Chris and Jenny from the BAT team hosted a successful BAT and Brave meetup in Montreal, Canada earlier this week. Yeah, it's kind of weird to read headlines about yourself, but Chris and I had a wonderful time at this week's meetup. Um, Thank you to everybody who came out. We loved meeting you all and getting to hang out with you all for a few hours. I know the weather wasn't great and the meetup took place smack in the middle of rush hour in the middle of downtown Montreal. So we appreciate you guys trekking out and it's always lovely spending time with Bat and Brave fans who are as passionate about the project as we are. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and be on the lookout for upcoming meetups in Montreal because this was certainly not our last. Client updates. This week, our developer channel progressed to 0.71.81, our beta channel progressed to 0.70.102, and our release channel progressed to version 0.68.141. Remember, if you want to try out one of our advanced releases, go to brave.com slash download and scroll to the bottom to find details on all of our advanced test builds. Brave Team Tweets This week, someone in the community asked, why not just make Brave a browser extension? And Brendan replied, because we can't do the detailed attention measurement, deep UX, e.g. URL bar, or ad slash tracker blocking and blind signature Rust native code, more to come, from add-ons. I've said this often too, if we could and wouldn't get blocked by extension stores for any reason, we would. Someone else asked, are there stats on bat payments to publishers and creators using Brave Rewards? To which Brendan again replied, we're working on it right now, but we don't disclose individual publisher data. Luke Mulks also put together an interesting Twitter thread recapping Brave's Intel Gamer Days campaign, which we've linked to from this week's weekly bat blog post, so be sure to check that out. Bat and Brave in the news. As privacy concerns make the internet more opaque, can ad tech keep its promise? As Europe's strict stance on internet privacy continues to gain traction across the globe, advertisers are struggling to balance their need for audience targeting data with increasing demands for privacy. Brave featured on KTLA 5 Morning News. The Brave talk starts at about 1 minute and 7 seconds in the video. Again, linked in the Weekly Bat blog post. Don't miss it. In case you don't have time to check out the video, here is an excerpt from their accompanying article. Brave is an entire web browser dedicated to privacy, which means to use it, you'll have to ditch Firefox, Chrome, Edge, or Explorer to take advantage of its built-in protections. By default, Brave blocks trackers, ads, and forces secure encrypted connections on all websites that support them. The result? A more private browsing experience, less ads on pages, and faster load times. Brave says pages load up to two times faster on desktop and eight times faster on mobile. You can also click to see how Brave is working to protect your privacy with a little report card for each site you visit. News you should know. Google blocks privacy push at the group that sets web standards. Google blocked a privacy push at the main organization that decides how the World Wide Web works, according to a recent vote that isolated the internet giant from others involved in the process. The Alphabet Inc. unit was the only member of the World Wide Web Consortium to vote against the measure to expand the power of the organization's internet privacy group, according to a tally of the results viewed by Bloomberg News. Silicon Valley is terrified of California's privacy law. Good. In a little over three months, California will see the widest sweeping statewide changes to its privacy law in years. California's Consumer Privacy Act, CCPA, kicks in on January 1st and rolls out sweeping new privacy benefits to the state's 40 million residents and every tech company in Silicon Valley. 
California's law is similar to Europe's GDPR. It grants state consumers a right to know what information companies have on them, a right to have that information deleted, and the right to opt out of the sale of that information. Roaring fans. Hashoshi from Crypto YouTube says, Brave dropped a big update today on mobile, and one of the features is dark mode. Yes! Midwest underscore Parrothead from Reddit says, My favorite Brave ad so far. Flash drives full of propaganda smuggled into North Korea. Josie3738 from Reddit says, Not sure who tipped me the other day, but thank you! Thank you for listening. If you like these podcasts, be sure to follow or subscribe to stay up to date with the Bat community.